When it comes to the best productivity apps, what I want is just one place to integrate everything I use, from Google Calendar to ClickUp to Zoom and many more. Well, AkiFlow claims that it can do exactly that. And in this AkiFlow Review 2025, I will show you if this productivity tool is worth your time and money. So let's start with the basics. What is AkiFlow? It presents itself as a premier digital planner and calendar, capable of centralizing dozens of tasks and schedules all in one place. And to be honest with you, that's part of the AkiFlow I enjoyed quite a lot. There's no lie there. AkiFlow integrates natively with Gmail and Google Calendar, Outlook, Zoom, and hundreds of other services you and I use daily. I like how it's more than just throwing everything in one folder. AkiFlow lets me import all of my tasks and syncs changes and progress I make in real time. That said, the biggest convenience is that the calendar is also synchronized with all the imported tasks, simplifying the time management. And I admit, I have not tried integrating more than 10 tools, but at the same time, in my experience, AccuFlow had absolutely no slowdowns with minimal delays. So if you wanna give it a try as well, scan this QR code or check the link in the description. It's a completely free to test out a seven day trial, which is more than enough to give all the main features a try. But what are those features? Well, I'll give you a few examples with my favorite ones, such as task consolidation. This is official name for AccuFlow's main power, bringing all tasks in one place. I'm usually grabbing anything I have in Gmail, Slack, Trello, or Notion to manage them all from the AccuFlow dashboard. I love that management is two-sided. When I modify tasks or close them in AccuFlow, they get closed in the respective app as well. No need to double check. I can also take full advantage of task management to not just create tasks, but to set deadlines for them configure recurring timelines, or snooze them temporarily. When it comes to managing timelines, AccuFlow does significantly better than ClickUp. It's way more responsive. I still get shivers remembering how long it sometimes takes for ClickUp to register a simple deadline change. It was crazy. But with AccuFlow, this is not an issue at all. I still get to create custom tags for all my tasks, just like in ClickUp, minus the headache. It may seem like just an extension of a previous feature on the surface, but I think event management deserves a separate mention. That's because many users expect apps like AccuFlow to only impact the person using it, but I realize that AccuFlow simply lets me communicate with my colleagues in other apps easily. I can invite guests for my meetings, set up calls in Google Meet or Zoom, and even send reminders. Usually I'd have to go back to Gmail or Google Calendar to check availability of the users for large scale meetings. These three main features tie in quite neatly with AccuFlow's statistics page. Not everybody would care about this, but if you are a results driven person, seeing these productivity numbers go up and observing the number of completed tasks is already a reward in and of itself with the cherry on top. Plus, I get to see how much time I've spent on each task, and with tasks usually take priority. Of course, no modern tool would be finished without some sort of AI integration. Fortunately, AccuFlow time management tool doesn't go all in on AI. They only use algorithms for automatically adding details to tasks to appropriate projects to save time. Personally, I have it turned off since I prefer to have complete control of my workflow instead of outsourcing it to an AI. That said, I know that some users want a deeper implementation for AI, and as far as I know, AccuFlow does plan to develop in this direction. But talking about manual control, I'm glad AccuFlow is aimed at more than apps like Motion or Sunsama. AccuFlow really stands out among organizer apps because of its strong and smooth task consolidation. Besides, it's just very easy to use thanks to this calendar focus layout. And since it came to this, let's discuss the app's UI. I'll start this part of the AccuFlow review with an important note. While AccuFlow is perfectly fine to use in any browser as a full online dashboard, it's also easy to download for Windows, Mac, Android, or iOS. There's a lot of flexibility here. And more importantly, if you have an old PC, using AccuFlow in an already RAM-hungry Chrome is just slowing everything down. While the app is nicely optimized and somehow eats less RAM than a tab in a browser. Seriously, Google, what the hell? <laughs> 
When it comes to the user interface, both the app and the browser dashboard are clean and modern. I like how it imitates this common calendar style you might be familiar with from Google Calendar or ClickUp. It's easy to navigate and transition from through this list on the left. I can jump to any project, tag, or statistics in one click. And on the right, I can manage the people involved in the tasks, create meetings, or share availability. And honestly, I found this separation a bit genius. Go left for personal tasks, go right for all the group projects. It doesn't get more intuitive than this. That said, this intuitiveness only applies to the basic functions of the app. I'd say if you're new to productivity tools, AccuFlow does have a moderate learning curve before you get completely comfortable with it. Still, AccuFlow provides onboarding tutorials, tool tops, and there's a searchable help center to assist you. Just like I'm helping you get a general vibe of AccuFlow right now, if you found this video informative so far, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I plan on covering a few other productivity apps as well, with Motion next on the chopping block. And if you end up with questions about AccuFlow, my comment section is always open. Ask away and I'll try to help. Just keep in mind that I'm not an AccuFlow support center. I can't give you one-on-one -on -one onboarding, mostly because AccuFlow already does that for new users. A dedicated agent will help you get familiar with basic workflows, a core function of AccuFlow's customer support system. Of course, that's not where it ends. AccuFlow Beginner's Guide includes technical support, productivity coaching, and webinars you can use to learn more. Or you can just skin them to make ends meet. But honestly, being an experienced user myself, I'm more interested in how AccuFlow supports its own product. They ran a pretty detailed roadmap page, allowing both feature suggestions and bug reports. The page is frequently updated, and through my time with AccuFlow, I already noticed multiple issues posted by users getting fixed, as well as implementation of new features. I'm honestly pretty glad that my money is spent on improving an already solid app. The devs deserve a big high five for that. Talking about money, is AccuFlow free? And sorry, I should have probably asked this earlier. I already spoiled the answer, but AccuFlow is a paid app and the seven day free trial is as far as you can get without spending a penny. Now, is that an issue? Uh, personally, I don't think so. AccuFlow offers two plans that differ only from the commitment. I use a yearly plan myself. Sadly, my projects don't seem to resolve any faster and it's also a better deal price-wise. I don't think that it makes a lot of sense to get AccuFlow for just a month or two. Its true value lies in long-term integration of all other tools and the convenience that comes with it. And the most convenient way to get AccuFlow is through the link in the description. It takes you one click to start your free trial. To put it simply, AccuFlow is an effective organizational platform and in my opinion, one of the best productivity tools. Its task management side becomes a huge advantage for anyone who has trouble managing a dozen different apps and the productivity improvements coming with it shouldn't be underestimated. For an app that simplifies your workflow, AccuFlow is surprisingly intuitive and easy to adapt to, mostly thanks for a personalized onboarding process and a variety of self-help materials. I've been using it for a while now and I don't see myself switching from it anytime soon. Though there might be a competitor lurking on the horizon. Now, if you'd like to learn more, consider watching more Wellness Pulse videos. I've already covered a bunch of neat apps and devices and more reviews are in the works. Stay tuned and remember to take breaks. I'll see you soon.